Hey, it's me, Zonov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, guys? I'm doing fantastic myself. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as I am, please consider liking, please consider subscribing. It all really, really helps out. Now, in this episode, we are going to figure out what is going on with this weirdo right here. His name is Arundel. Absolute. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's. I don't know if there's words for this kind of guy. Just, just terrible person. We're gonna put him back in his little seat there. There we go. Okay, and we're going to search him. Arundel's key. Black soul gem. Fast healing. No, 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 no. I'm just going to make sure that this isn't... Oh, my lock picking's at 100, isn't it, anyway? So... Oh. You're the... There's a... Okay, this has to be... This has to be a... Uh... Sorry. This has to be a... Uh... Vanilla quest, because there's an unusual gem here, at least, I think. Uh, give me that. And, ooh, give me this, this, no, no. Grand Staff of Charming, no. Uh, masked Necromancer Hood, Masked Necromancer Hood. We'll have a look, see at what that's like. Uh, Runic Necromancer Robes, no, no, no. Conjure hunt, Haunting Spirit, do I already have that? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Spell Tome. Where are my spell tomes? There we go. Yep, already got it. Okay, let's... Uh, why didn't I drop it? Why didn't I drop it? Drop. There we go. Back on the bench. And we'll leave that. And let's also have a look at... This. See what it does. See what it looks like. Oh, we look like a straight menace. <laughs> oh, I'm almost, I'm almost considering keeping something like that. That would look so dang cool. That is such a nice design. Okay, I'm going to keep that mask just because I like it. All right, I'm keeping it just because I like it. No other reason. Unusual gem and Arundel's Journal Part 4. Before we do that, let's uh, switch this back just because uh, I will 100% remember if I don't. But I'm keeping that mask because I want it. Arundel's Journal Part 4. Let's see what this. Uh, let's see if there's a conclusion to this freak, what he's doing. Arundel's Journal, Day 28. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, was revived as the others bowing to my commands. The only one interesting development she has reformed in incorporeally. She has reformed incorporeally more phantasm more phantasm than reanimated dead as her glowing visage stood before me i found my hand reaching out to touch her as my fingers passed through her i felt a sensation unlike any other as if her essence were invigorating my very soul connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do this disco this discovery is life changing day 35 I have ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost with the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within Yingvild. I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar and wonder if they were in fact portents of times to come. Okay, disturbed man, return to Vekel. Who's Vekel? <laughs> <laughs> who the heck is Vekel? Okay, return to Vekel. Who who is that guy? I'm gonna guess he's in Dawnstar. Gosh, I hope he's in Dawnstar. Uh, he's not in Dawnstar. <laughs> he is Vekel. He's in the Thieves Guild. Huh? I am. I am. So, okay. How are they connected? How I don't think I've ever. So, okay. All right. All right. All right. We're going to go to Dawnstar, we're going to catch a boat from Dawnstar, and then from the boat uh, to Dawnstar we're going to go to Solitude, and then from Solitude we're going to go to Riften, and we're going to figure out what the heck is going on here, because I think I might have missed out some like introductory introductory dialogue that's uh, that would tell me what's going on. Um, flip the lever, nice. Yeah, I feel like I've definitely missed out on some introductory dialogue that would have... Uh, Ooh, okay. So this is his little storage room. Okay, I see now. I see. I never got that key off him, did I, actually? I never actually... Did I get that key off of him? I don't know if I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is he in his seat? There he goes. Yeah, I never even picked up his key. Okay, I'll pick up his key because I'm probably going to need that. Uh, yeah, but probably missed some introductory dialogue to kind of introduce us into what's going on and what people are, what people are doing and all that kind of stuff and... 
why he was doing this and who he was before it and yada 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 all good though all good doesn't really bother me too much hopefully it kind of gets filled in with the remaining 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 dialogue that there is okay so we would have had to unlock that as a master okay um but if we had to unlock that and it's a master key does that mean there was a shortcut we could have taken already or is that just conveniently that there no it's 100 percent hidden behind a rock i'm pretty sure we we literally passed uh we really literally passed one of those hidden stone wall things on the way in i'm almost certain and give me that and that thank you thank you okay and yeah bingo there we go thought so all right well i'm very interested to talk to veckel very very interested to talk to veckel i don't think i've encountered this ever not even once in any of my playthroughs this has never been something I've encountered. Okay, that's just the draugr. Yeah, this is never something that I've uh, actually ever encountered. So very keen to get to Dawnstar and actually start figuring all of this out. Jeez, the Skyrim is just full of things like this. Like, it, it's a case in point of what I said, I think, towards the very start of the playthrough, where you can still pick up Skyrim. And that's half the reason I wanted to do a playthrough of it when I started up YouTube is because I knew... I knew I would do things that I normally wouldn't do if I wasn't doing a playthrough. Because, I don't know, just just for the sake of, like, episodes and doing things and getting stuff done and, like, checking off a list, that's kind of, like, goes comes part and parcel with doing a playthrough. And so it forces you to do things, I, I, I would say, for me at least, that I wouldn't normally do. Like, I would go past that cave and I'd be like, oh, Yingville Cave, okay, cool. And then I'd keep going on whatever I was doing. Or if I wasn't in survival mode, I would never even come across it because I would never just wander out here to discover this thing unless I had a, a quest coming here. And then this quest for a person named Veckel that we're returning to, who I'm assuming would give it out in the first place, I've never even uh, I've never even heard of Veckel. <laughs> they're probably going to be some... Uh, if, they're, if they're in the Thieves' Guild, they're probably going to be someone that you see all the time. But if their name's mentioned, it doesn't jump straight into your brain because I'm guessing they don't... Um, I know, I'm guessing they're not super important. Like, you don't have heaps of interactions with them. Because, yeah, Veckel is not... Veckel is not lighting up any light bulbs for me. I have got zero clue as to who Veckel could be. I mean, maybe... The, I mean, I'm guessing it's maybe the bar... The bar guy out at the Ragged Flagon before you go... Uh, before you go too much... Uh, before you go into the to the back part of the Thieves' Guild. But other than that, I've got I've got no idea. Like, it's literally just guessing game. Like, it's it's either that guy, the that bar guy, or it's I don't know one one of the other thieves guild members that kind of walks around, but you can't really get in conversation with otherwise. Which would kind of beg the question, like how how would they give out the quest in the first place? I don't know. I'm so confused as to how I've never c come across this, and I've done the thieves guild. I don't even know how many times, and it seems like this is connected to the thieves guild. Oh well. Oh well. Speculation. Be gone. Let's figure it out. Coast. Thank you. Where are you Take me to solitude. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. I shall. See, this is such a good system too for survival mode. <laughs> such a good system, but something that would never, I repeat, never be used by me outside of survival mode. Ooh. Coin, well, I'm your man. Is that so, Jari Ra? Okay, sounds a bit suggestive there, buddy. What are you looking? You looking to wine and dine me or something? Is that what's going on? Um, let's go to the cart and ask the thing that we ask every time and that is I would like to hire your carriage and then they say where do you want to go and then you tell them where you want to go and then they say climb in the back and we'll be off and then I usually repeat that although I said I'm going to stop trying to do that I just don't think it's quite po I just don't think it's possible here there see other little things like this little stable thing there's probably something going on here there's probably something going on there. there's probably some little mini quest tied to it and I've just never done it I'd where like to hire to your go? carriage. Uh, where is it? It's Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. I shall do that thing that I knew you would say I should do. Oh, steady old girl. Steady old girl. Yeah, Skyrim's just great, and that's why I'm keen to do another playthrough. Um, but it'll be, as I said, it'll be a modded playthrough. I'll be getting a mod list downloaded for it, and then it'll also be on top of a mod list. Um, on top of a mod list being downloaded for it, I won't be in survival mode. So I'll probably be able to get even more things done in that playthrough, which is what I'm most keen for compared to this playthrough, because I just won't be I won't be held back by any time constraints or anything. I'll be able to just go, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'll just be able to go and um, yeah, just just get stuff done. Just if I need to go somewhere, there won't be there won't be like ten minutes of the episode dedicated to trying to what is that quest marker for? So, oh, okay. Um, 
yeah, if I need to get somewhere, there won't be a, uh, there won't be, uh, like, 10 minutes or 15 minutes of the episode dedicated to just traveling to get there. Instead, the travel time will be, like, two or three seconds, thanks to fast travel. And then the rest of the episodes can be, like, kind of just catered towards getting stuff done. Now, please don't talk to me, guys. I don't know if you're approaching me to talk to me, but I need to eat some stuff so I can see straight. Mammoth steak, yes. Um, apple pie, sure. And... How's that looking? Okay, I definitely don't need that venison chop. Definitely don't need that venison chop. Uh, we can go... Do I have any small things? I need some small things. Bread, cheese, there we go. There we go. Give me that bread and give me that cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Something? Still not done. Um, in some marksman training. No, 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 it's quite all right. Uh, bed owned, give me, give me a bed that's not owned. I need to sleep as well. There we go, perfect, okay. Uh, let's sleep until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. There we go. And that's good. Hunger's back a little bit. Tankard wine, Thieves Guild gloves. Thieves Guild boots, Guild chest. Magic poison. Guild chest. What are the, let's have a look at all these. What have they got? Ooh, yes, give me that. Give me that, give me that. These chests are pretty good. These chests are pretty dang good. Gosh. Have these always been filled with good? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Pork a loaf. Bread, bread. Uh, cheese, cooked beef, cooked beef, bread. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay, there we go. Bread, bread. And that. That's got to have... Oh, no, I forgot. Uh, my food, my hunger went down. Gosh, I'm... <laughs> Let's just see that. Let's just get it done. There we go. Finally. All right. Let's go talk to Veckel. Let's figure out who Veckel is because I'm still stumped. I'm still absolutely stumped as to who Veckel is. And I'm very interested to hear what it is they actually have to say. Veckel, Veckel, Veckel. I knew it. It's got to be the... I knew it had to be the bartender dude. So Veckel the man. you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Dude, that was like 150 episodes ago. I'm actually the leader of the of, of all the factions now, including this one. Job's done, all right? Boss. Gave the package to her just like you said. Good. Did she say anything we need to know? Yep. She said that the Jarl was planning a surprise raid on us. Don't but you she dare talk her out of it. Said she saved us a lot of trouble. That she did. Very good. I'll tell Brynjolf. I'm going to take that. Very good. Okay, Veckel. Hello. Veckel. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Here we go. So what is this? Okay. What? I okay. Um, so what's the word around the guild? I haven't seen so much celebrating in years. Mercer is dead. We have a new guild master. And things are finally looking up i only hope we can restore the guild to its former glory after all the damage that's been done wait was arendil was arendil part of the thieves guild i swear arendil sounds familiar now arendil 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 i swear i swear that sounds familiar Hmm. Okay. I swear Arundel sounds very, very familiar. Okay, do you know anything about Arundel? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Tenelia, please. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild. He was never heard from again. Okay. How can you be certain the journals exist? Gosh, oh, I really missed out on this. How do you even get this thing to trigger? How can you be certain the journals exist? Recently, a woman was found naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Okay, well, I've recovered all of Arundel's journals. Good. I was hoping you hadn't forgotten about it. As promised, here's your payment for bringing them to me. Got it as part of a fair trade from my client. Okay, Iron War Axe of Embers added. Terrible. 
Terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> Good day. Uh, shipments arrived. Let's have a read of this. What is this? One shipment has arrived to the following items are on your list. You want in. I need to see the gold, fire salt, paralytic poison, black bribe, private reserve, shadow banish wine, and chokeberry preserves. Okay, take. Why not? Take, take, take. I like it. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege. Yeah, but that's me. So that's me. You got to me. You got me. That's a me. Yeah, that's a me. Yeah. Okay. Did you take out the trash? Um. Yeah. Hmm. Threw it in the lake, like you a said. A warning, timely offer. What are these? I remember reading these, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, full blah, 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 blah. Okay, Delvin, I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else that bitch might catch on to our operation. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. I'll check back with you in a week. Tilden way. Tell me. And a warning. Delvin, master of sneaking heart. If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me again while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset vex. Okay, I do remember reading that one. Now, I wonder if I take those, I can talk to Delvin about them. Interesting. Okay. Guess not. All right. Now I know there is, I know there's tons of stuff you can do, still do for the thieves guild, and I, I mean I might actually do it. I'm just gonna have to look into how it actually works, because I know there's like there's a, there's an there's like an actual way of doing it which doesn't take forever, and especially in survival mode, it will take forever. I promise you that. <laughs> um, so yeah, actually I might I might leave that for another playthrough. Yeah, I might leave that for the next playthrough because. I don't know. I, I had a, I had just a quick thought then of like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to do that now. You know, actually max out, like do all the, the do all the guild quests as I said I've done, but then actually, pretty sure it's just this one that I've got to max out. I got to max out this quest, this quest line, and you do that by doing a whole ton of radiant quests. But you do them in each city, and as you do them in each city, the thieves guild rebuilds, and it's you know, it's great. But yeah, I don't know with survival mode. With survival mode and because i can't just especially just because i can't get all the quests for all the cities and then just go from city to city to city and do it i have to keep returning to the thieves guild wait, here do it I again know. and then come what what have i got a bounty for huh wait i know you you're making a mistake the only mistake was you showing your face you've committed crimes against skyrim and her people and it's time to face the yarl's justice Okay, I'm with the guild. You caught me, I'll pay off my bounty. Any chance I could talk you into overlooking this? Yeah, uh, any chance I could talk you into overlooking this? Alright, but you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Jeez, overlooking a thousand dollars, thank you. Ah, oh, so he still has a go on me. Yeah, okay, so, still, so the bounty's still there. It doesn't get rid of the bounty. But, what I was thinking while we are still in Riften, is we can go into the bee and barb and i think the person i'm looking for is here i think i don't have any business with you so i get think oh, i think they are again. i guess what not do you want? hey chill out chill out okay uh i think i thought they were i guess not your allegiance lies with the empire okay we haven't much, we haven't to, much discuss. to discuss i know okay okay looking louis latrouche i need someone to deliver a this is the person i was looking Black for Bride. but it'll do but this will do because i want to do this as well so what sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached City Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. I then agree. I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Okay, sounds easy enough. Good man, you won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Okay, uh, why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. Hmm. Now, well, why don't you go tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Okay. I'll meet you outside of town. All right, I'll meet you there, buddy. 
Well, let's go talk to Sippy Blackrock and, uh, and let's uh, figure out what kind of what kind of fella he is. Now, what is that quest marker that's still up? Talk to no, we're not doing that. That's just gonna okay. That's just continuous stuff repeating itself and like radiant quests. Let's go do this one. Let's go talk to Sibby Blackbriar and see what he's got for us. See what we can do with good old Sibby Blackbriar. I was actually looking for somebody else that you tend to find in bars, uh, and they spawn in a certain bar when you are level ten, I think, and then from there they just stay in that bar. Whichever bar you were in at level 10 and they spawn there, that's just where they stay. And you gotta go back and find them. Oh, hello hey, there. You're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Is that so? It's fine. I'm allowed to be here. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Yes, it was your mistake, wasn't it? Thank you. Alright. Let's close this and we gotta go talk to Sibby. Hey there. Wait, I know you. No, mm -hmm. no you don't. I'm actually the person who liberated Riften, and uh, I'm actually a high-up soldier in... I'll take that. I'm actually a high-up soldier in the Imperial Army, so I'll get you to show you me the respect that I deserve. Thank you. And uh, I don't know, there's some stuff in here that I want, actually. Take that, take that. Take the Minor Healing. Grand Soul Gems. Ooh, too good not to take. And what else we got? What else we got? Longbow, some arrows. We'll take the arrows, they're free. Hmm, Blonger's chest, coin, purse, minus stamina. Okay, and that's where we would get it if we were locked up in this prison, I believe. Okay, let's go through here. Ooh, coin purse? No, bread. Uh, Alright. I'll be back in a jiffy there, Mr. Guard, sir. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything wrong. Who are you? Threcky the Innocent. Let me out of here, damn it. I'm not a criminal. Okay. Oh, I thought because I had the gun, I thought because I had the key, I could. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, so Threcky, the see, 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 she's she's a uniquely named character. This is what happens to you when you speak your mind in this city. Yeah, she's a uniquely named character. So I, I'm like, I want to know what it is that she's in here for. She doesn't seem like she's just filling up the White place. Man has been laid to rest. I know. May his soul live forever in the halls of Solvengard. Hey, at least you've got some respect. Before we speak to Sibby, let's go down here and talk to these people. To ooh. Pretty sure I put you there, didn't I? Ooh, sorry. Who are you? Okay. Don't know who you are. Wait. No, I'm no, you don't. Go away. Can I talk to you? Branche. If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods for Morrowind at one of the stands. See, it's uh, strange that after he gets thrown in here, he doesn't ever come back out, and he, but he still continues that dialogue. And it's, it, it, what's especially strange is that he gets thrown in here very early on, if you do the Thieves Guild very early on, and then his character will just spend the rest of the time in here. But you can do a quest for his character, so uh, you have an odd name for a Dark Elf. I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Do you have any clues about your past? Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. I'll keep an eye open. Thank you. You're welcome. Locate a clue hey, about Branche's past. You have great help. Good luck. Thank you, thank you, thank Oh, I'm not thank you, but you're welcome. Uh, can I do this? You. You are the harbinger yeah. of the companions. You don't have a problem with this? It's my honor to stand before you. Okay, you don't have a problem with this at all. Need something? No, not at all. I'm just... Why were you searching in Skyrim? I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvani had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. Records showed her barring passage aboard a sailing vessel named the Pride of Telvos, but that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Okay. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. You're welcome, you're welcome. I better close this again, because I won't like it, but... If you want to just like slowly slip out some night, you should be uh, able to. Just unlocking all the all the doors for everybody. Okay, let's go. Ooh, petty soldier. 
Okay, let's go back upstairs and actually Wait. talk to Sibby now. I no, don't. you don't know me. Stop talking to me, okay? Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Let's open this as well, just because I can. And, okay, I said we're going to talk to Sibby, but I just want to open all these just because I can. Open, 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 open. I wanted to open this one, but it won't let me. Okay. All right, Sibby. How you doing there, bud? You come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Uh, it's a social call. Uh, I was sent ah, by Louis finally. Latrouche. Someone besides the stupid Louis Latrouche. To to. Why are you in jail? Tell me about your family. Uh, why are you in jail? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. Mm -hmm. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Stiddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. So you got arrested for his murder? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton. And this is how she repays me. <laughs> the anything. attitude on this guy. Head on oh, jeez. <laughs> All I need to know is where she is. Okay, uh, I'll help you found. I'll help you find her. Good luck finding her from there. I'll help you find her. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her, and I promise you'll be well compensated. Okay. Uh, do you ha discover Sviddy's whereabouts? Do you have any information on Sviddy? She was a young woman, buxom, with long, flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. Never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Okay, you're only serving eight months for murder? Yeah, mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. <laughs> I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, tell me about your family while we're talking about them. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Well, you don't know who I am, do you? Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? I know you're trying to be intimidating, but I, I feel like you don't know who I am. In any case, I was sent by Louis Latrouche. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. I would too. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. You're selling something you didn't own. Okay. Uh, you don't own the horse you already sold to Latrush? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. Mm hmm. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Obviously, Still, yes. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Okay, I know, you know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Ooh. Um, okay. You know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. Yeah, I bet Obviously you can. don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Sibby stash key, okay, thank you. Optional, steal the, the lodge stash. Speak to Sibby Blackbriar, steal Frost's lineage papers. Cool stuff. Well, if it isn't my little problem solver. That's a me, uh, uh, if Maven already threw you in jail, why steal her horse? I'm not stealing anything. Besides, some jail time isn't going to make me roll over and play dead. Okay, fair enough. Well, when I terrible talking to you. Bitch, okay. I'm going to wring her little neck. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're definitely betting on the fact that I will actually help you. But, uh, yeah, that is going to have to do it for today's episode, guys. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as I am, please consider liking. Please consider subscribing. Every like means I get a new like. Every subscriber means I get a new subscriber. And it all really, really helps out. Please also turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below, any recommendations, any tips, or just stop by to say good day because I absolutely love the interaction. And I promise I will try my best to respond to everyone, although it is getting much, much harder now. But most of all, please have a fantastic day. 
Bye-bye. Looking to stay alive.